Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for August 9th, 2017. For your Wednesday, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine is expected today, and that's thanks to high pressure that's going to be directly overhead, and uh, it's just be a gorgeous day, uh, bright, uh, bright sunny skies, uh, blue skies for most of the day, and then mostly clear overnight tonight as this high pressure moves further east. Uh, but we're still going to be uh, probably near averages today, near seasonable averages as far as temperatures go. So they'll be increasing a little bit from what they were yesterday, but still very comfortable uh, for this time of year going a little bit forward. Uh, we get into Thursday. We're going to have an increase in clouds, but uh, not much. Just could call it partly cloudy uh, on Thursday, and uh, most of any of the precipitation that was modeled early in the week be over us is now over western Pennsylvania, West Virginia area. So we're not expecting that anywhere in the coverage area. So still under high pressure control here, but we'll introduce a few more puffy clouds here on Thursday, and that's about it. But probably the warmest day of the week here on Thursday. Temperatures are going to get in the middle 80s, and if not a little bit higher in some places. Uh, on Wednesday, or excuse me, Thursday, and that's going to be the peak heating day of this entire week. And then we start heading down a little bit as we head into Friday and the weekend. So going a little bit forward from this, we go into Friday. Now we're going to have uh, a couple mid-level disturbances that are going to rotate through here. You can see this; these kind of lining up here. You got one here, and you got one right here. Uh, these are around the base of a, a, a upper-level trough that's in the Great Lakes. I'll show you that in a second, but. Uh, these little waves are just going to rotate through at different times over the course of the weekend, and that's going to allow for mainly some diurnally driven uh, scattered showers or thunderstorms, but I think they're going to be more ice on the isolated side here because the models are not really overly impressed with these features. So let's go over to the upper level trough first to show you what we're looking at. This is looking up at 500 millibars, which is about 18,000 feet up, and you have an upper level trough up here uh, settling over the region. We're going to be in the eastern periphery of that trough, so what we're going to have now, these little disturbances that are going to move right along the eastern periphery of that trough and just rotate through, like I was showing you on that previous image. Uh, so when we get down to where weather happens in the mid-levels, you have these, uh, in response to that trough being there, you're going to have these waves coming through here, one here, one here, and that's going to rotate through at different times over the weekend. So we get into Friday, the first one goes through again. This is not really a big deal, maybe just an isolated thunderstorm with the first one. Another one coming through uh, on Saturday. Uh, but again, this is mostly Friday night here. Could have some showers Friday night with this. Uh, some isolated stuff here. Again, this is diurnally driven pop-up showers or thunderstorms, but they're going to be mostly isolated to widely scattered. Not as much coverage as we've seen uh, last week in a very similar pattern. And then we get into Sunday, and we have very little coverage on the far eastern sides, and just, just from a third trough that's on the far east. But uh, it looks like we're going to be dealing with a better-looking Sunday. Uh, but that does, that does look like we're mixed clouds and sun over the weekend and uh, most of the time is dry you just have those opportunities for the pop-up showers or thunderstorms at any time uh, favoring the afternoon though and evening and then of course being diurnally driven they disappear at night so uh, here's a look at uh, uh, Fr Friday's uh, going back to Friday real quick just it's probably gonna end up being a mostly cloudy day here on Friday with that first wave coming through uh, by the time we get to Sunday uh, again that just that the far eastern areas that we look for a little bit of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm with that. Uh, th the last piece that's going to come through here is going to be uh, an area of low pressure that's going to move along a boundary and head northeastward. This is going to bring some chances for rain that's going to come in Sunday night and at least the first half of Monday. I don't think this goes all day. Maybe in the far eastern areas it goes later in the afternoon, but I think you have some opportunity uh, for at least the rain to shut off some point during the afternoon here on Monday, at least according to current timing. Uh, but we have time to work that out, too. It does look like it could be a decent amount of rain in some spots with that as well, as the low pressure, pressure tracks over the Delmarva. And then we get back into Tuesday, and we have uh, an incoming trough with cooler temperatures setting up shop here with the partly cloudy day here on uh, on Tuesday. This right here will have to be watched very close. This is uh, what would be presumed at this time, uh, either Tropical Storm or Hurricane Gert. So it's going to come awfully close. Uh, but I still think that because this trough is coming in, here's the trough right here. It's going to pick it up and set it off to the northeast and away from our area. But areas that, have, that if you have any interest down here in the southeastern U.S. coastline, anywhere from, uh, you know, anywhere from, I'd say, Savannah all the way up to the Outer Banks, just keep a close eye on this because it, uh, it definitely could come close enough to provide some impacts of at least high surf and uh, rip currents. And you're probably still going to have some rip currents here along the shore points. Uh, as we get into the middle of next week here with this being in such close po proximity. But we have a lot of time to look at this yet and see where this goes. Can this come further west? Yes, it can, but uh, it's doubtful just because this trough's going to pick it up and probably send it northeast and away from our area. So that is good news for our area. 
uh, but still some rip currents along the shore, uh, along the shore points from uh, from Sandy Hook all the way down to Ocean City, Maryland. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for August 9th, 2017. Have a great Wednesday.